Welcome to Screams Come True podcast with Emily, Anita, and Dippy. We hope you like this episode and subscribe to our channel. If audio is more your thing, we are available on Spotify as well. This week in K-pop, San of the world famous supergroup 80s was recently announced as an ambassador for none other than Dolce and Gabbana. Every time I hear or read or see mention of Dolce and Gabbana, I should be wearing my Dolce's. you should. It immediately goes, my brain immediately goes to Fergie. Immediately. You just, you can't help it. Uh, he appeared wearing the DNG Alta Sartoria Fall Winter 2023-2024 collection at the Altamoda event. The man absolutely stunned. He dominated. This godlike figure destroyed in that moment. <laughs> he is too, too beautiful for words. It's not fair. It transcends language. He looked like an avenging angel. Yes. Come down to greet us more, mere mortals. With love and light. Yes. He really did. I will link an article for you to easily view the masterpiece in human form. Because his second day outfit. Did you see them? No, oh, not yet. Oh my god. It, a beautiful white. No, no spoilers, please. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. Uh, it looked as if he was really in his element and like he was having the best time. Son even got some photos with the one and only Naomi Campbell, which the two of them side by side is just too much beauty. It's not fair. It's just that's how you that's how you just break everything. Also, uh, had a g conversation with a former Victoria's Secret angel mm -hmm. who she thought he was incredible. So many like big fashion names and, and models just fawning over him the thing is is that yeah there's all these wonderful beautiful female models and stuff and, and there's none of them are as beautiful as son <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's not fair uh he of course received high praise from fans all over the world apparently though i have heard through the little birdies through thine grapevine through you know an internet version of the game telephone <laughs> that some netizens expressed expressed <laughs> Expresso <laughs> expressed their disagreement with his outfit choice. Some thought it was distasteful and, well, straight up ugly. Hold your thoughts. Okay. <laughs> uh, I completely disagree. These K pop dudes, okay, these K pop bro dudes are continually proving that femininity and masculinity can coexist in an incredibly elegant way. The men who dress up in non-traditional clothing are constantly serving us man, manly man, big, strong, real man, man about the town. Mm -hmm. uh, take Jimin from BTS. He is feminine, he is soft, he is beauty, he is grace. Um, but he is also strong. And you know what society has deemed as manly, he possesses all of those things as well. So I don't, I don't wanna hear any shit from anybody about boys dressing like girls or any of the bullshit comments that I've read. Literally. But here's what I wanna say, okay? So that whole, western um view of what men are supposed to be okay because i mean samoan men wear sarongs mm -hmm. yeah. okay scottish men wear kilts so here's the thing bring the kilt back your stupid country okay was founded by forefathers who wore wigs and makeup mm -hmm. and, and high, high heels, heels. Yep. and lace and, and velvet and had girdles yes and all your favorite bands from back in the good old days yeah. dressed like ladies they just yeah. did straight up drag. Yep. Yes. So the thing is, to me, is that there is no, to, in my mind, there's no, this is how girls dress, this yeah. is how boys dress. Wear whatever the fuck you yeah. want. For a, a lot of the comments that I read, straight up people saying, this is an embarrassment to the fans and the group. I have never been more proud as an ATs fan. Okay, every time I see one of them absolutely bring the house down blow the universe up i get more and more proud of them the uh the the biggest thing for me is that every other man at that event was in a boring suit mm -hmm. or in like dolce casual wear mm -hmm. he was the only one that was stunting okay this is this is like when men say oh um when you use the word homophobia and they say i'm not afraid of you know of mm -hmm. gay people no you're not you're afraid of your own gayness you're afraid to be different you're afraid to express yourself in any way that might get you frowned upon yeah. because you're clearly not the manly man you think you are you're afraid to actually express yourself mm -hmm. because like it is it's self-expression it doesn't matter where you fall on the spectrum of sexuality and gender yeah you're afraid to express yourself yeah. don't I'm, be 
if Jensen Ackles walked into a room in like a beautiful sundress and a little straw hat, you know, I would be like, holy shit. Mm -hmm. And nobody would look at him and say, you know, how are you? No, because it's Jensen Ackles. No, it's in Winchester, man. This yeah. is the thing. The very root down to homophobia is a hatred of women yep. yeah. and yes. of femininity. Mm -hmm. And if there's any and of that femininity in you, you hate it. Yeah, yes. You hate it. Yeah. Just embrace it. Just embrace the divine feminine. Also, I'm sorry. Try and look at San, who is a black belt in Taekwondo, who learned everything from his father. You look at Choi Jung Chol's son and call him not a man. Yeah. You can't. You can't, because San is, is in the dictionary under what a man should be. That is, that's That's it. what I'm saying, is you, you have these men that are, they are, by definition, what society deems as men. Yep. Being incredibly feminine, mm -hmm. wearing makeup, wearing heels, going to fashion shows, doing these things, and they are still men. There is yeah. nothing less manly about them. There's nothing, they're not womanly and, you know. You tell Wait, Song sure. Mingi he yeah. can't wear a princess tiara. Exactly. Jin from BTS with his little pigtails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There are a handful of men that I would never question their masculinity. And ATs are all of oh, them. Yeah. And BTS. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> oh, BTS for sure. They're they're the beginners. And stray kids, man. I mean, it existed before them, but it, BTS, they have helped make it more acceptable yeah. globally. For Felix, like Felix and Hyunjin. Again, they're the most beautiful people. On Earth. Felix, another martial artist yep. who 62 medals yeah. in Taekwondo. Yes. I actually wrote a piece for Felix's involvement in this. Okay. And uh, I cut it. Oh, but well. he's he was another example of yep. I could literally kill you with my hands, but like look at this fit. Yeah. <laughs> I, Felix makes me want to vomit. And also that would take you out and buy you a dress yeah. and yeah. you know you want to feel you pretty you feel as good as yeah, you your feel friend his friend biff you want i'll buy you a dress let's go yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh you want a suit let's go get one yeah you're the common denominator and, and the majority of these men is they all have sisters yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah that only goes so far though because i've been friends with a lot of dudes and i do mean dudes uh who have sisters and were raised by mothers and they f suck they are worse than the dudes without any women in their lives Okay, but dudes raised by mothers, mm. that's a whole other conversation yeah. about yeah. moms. Yeah. And we're not going to get into that today. <laughs> Moving right along, TXT recently had a fan sign event. And if you are unfamiliar with the fan event, they are unique opportunities for fans to meet and connect with their favorite artists on a much more personal level, much like a meet and greet, but a little bit more intimate. This fan event was where one of the members of TXT was deliberately skipped by one particular fan, causing netizens to run wild. Though this is not an uncommon thing to happen, it's been seen many times for many different K-pop groups, fans only seeking attention from their bias and completely ignoring and just straight up shutting down the rest of the group. Which, that's rude as fudge, buddy. It really is. That was a late censor, but it worked. <laughs> Who was it in the one group that kept getting skipped over and over? Uh, a few years ago. Was it a boy group or yep, a girl group? It was a boy group. Oh, I, I think it might have been. It was either NCT or Stray Kids, or Seventeen. It was one of them, and one of them like three or four times. That's, I think it might have been Seventeen. Yeah, and just that's and the, so sad. And the the thing is, is that like you know, there's a lot of video of it, so you see this. He's waiting there to like high five the person, and, and they just walk right by him, and he's just like, uh, it's, it's oh. happened to EXO. Yeah, it's happened yep. to BTS. I remember that girl skip she everyone thought she skipped Taehyung it was one of the most like legendary videos she was walking back up to get her bag that she had left staff was letting her walk by, back up to get it and he thought she was another fan a, a new person oh. and she walked right by him and he was like oh, <laughs> oh no yeah I, th I think that's super rude and just cold-hearted I don't give a fudge who your favorite is be respectful yeah, because those people that you're skipping to go see the people that you love, they love those people that you're skipping. Mm -hmm. That's their family. So that's come the on. thing is like, oh, you're biased. You only love them, but you don't because you're disrespecting what they love. Exactly. 
Exactly. Uh, the video of the incident has made its rounds online, and you can clearly see that Yun Jun is confused and a little bit frustrated. The woman gets up and passes directly in front of him without even the slightest bit of acknowledgement and goes to the next member. No, doesn't even look in his direction, nothing. Just gets up, cuts straight across. What an asshole! The thing else is, Yun Jun is the most popular and most biased member in that entire group. Well, this was his humbling moment then. She was just trying to humble him. Like, also, okay, especially with TXT, a group who started out as trainees, genuinely disliking each other and fighting, and has worked hard together to build a relationship and trust and love and a family together. You're going to disrespect that? Yeah. For real, though. Yeah, take away, no, take away her fan card. Push her down the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and you. we're back. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's so rude. I can't imagine being in front of like my favorite band and skipping one of the members or skipping multiple of the members and just like breezing past them. Like, nah, you don't deserve this. That's you like don't if deserve you deserve my attention. If you would have got to go to the meet and greet with yeah. Jesse Cash and them, and and just completely ignoring Jit, <laughs> be like he doesn't exist, right? Like, what, you would never do that. I would never do that. I. Okay, here's an example of never doing that. Sorry, one second. Here's an example of never doing that. Um, that time where I did get to meet some of the members of Slipknot, they were not my favorite members. They were the members that I paid the least amount of attention to, but I was still like, oh my God, it's you. So you didn't, yeah. you know? Corey Taylor. I met Corey Taylor and his oh. ass. His bare ass, literally from me to the camera. In my face. I was 12. <laughs> where was your mother? Where were you? Back to the fan signs. They are like an hour to three hours long. So mm -hmm. you do that, and then you're sitting as the, the idol in that room with someone who clearly doesn't like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That has got to be the most awful feeling of like being stuck there and having to interact and be happy with the crowd. And you just know that there is someone in there that genuinely hates you. This, but this brings me to, to Jin Young of GOT7, who <laughs> his reaction to fans was <laughs> on this one video clip, uh, a fan, um, you know, mm -hmm. blew him a kiss and he went like this. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and, yeah, not he's funny. not, no, uh, if, if you weren't nice to, to them, they, they yeah. weren't really nice to you. No. GOT7 is a good group. Good. Yeah. Yeah. They had opinions. They did. They did have opinions. And other people have a lot of opinions on this next piece of news, which is Triple S. They're a girl group that we have talked about plenty of times on this podcast, and usually it's for their music. Today, it's because of the incredibly disturbing and inappropriate messages the 2007 born member received. This girl is a minor, okay? She's just little. And she had to go onto her from account to address these messages. The first, I'm only going through one message, okay? And it was the first message that she received, and it was as follows. I want to smash my lips on yours and make you all flustered with two exclamation points. Disgusting. She responded with a Japanese phrase that is normally used to express disappointment, which apparently loosely translated to English means, well, well. But with way more attitude. I... Is it so hard to not be gross? Apparently. Apparently it is. <sighs> it was, uh, I, when I read it, I was going to put like a little content warning just because it was really, really gross, but I decided not to because our videos are not made for children. <laughs> but that's so gross. And it makes me uncomfortable reading those comments, knowing that they were directed to a minor. Yeah. Like it's uncomfortable to read. So imagine, well, I mean, I, I received comments like that when I was a minor. So, like, I know what that feels like, but on a, on a lesser scale, because I wasn't famous. Know what I mean? And you're not, yeah, you're not receiving those comments en masse. Yeah. But, I mean, we all had internet as minors. We've mm -hmm. all been attempted groomed. Oh, uh, absolutely. Just... Fans have been speculating the age of the original poster to be within the 30-year-old-ish range. However, there is no way to criminal There is no way... Criminal However, there is no way to confirm their age right now. Fans are pissed, and I agree. Some are asking why there isn't more being done to ensure idols don't see messages like this, especially 
the minors, which is a fair ask because they shouldn't have to address things like this or even be able to respond to them. Children do not need to deal with comments like this, and they should not be put in positions to deal with them in the first place. Every message that they get and have to respond to should be vetted yep. and, and cleared by their management. Yep. Or, better yet, if you're a minor, you don't get you a, don't social, get a media. social media account. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Like, it, I, I know that it's, it's hard to say that um, just because of the age that we live in where social media is, honestly, it's everything. It's how so many people make their livings and how people survive and everything like that. And it is a part of society. It has become a fixed part of society. But I don't believe that you should be on it if you are a minor. No, if you're a, if you're a minor also and you're in the public eye, it's possible to have a private account that no one knows. Yes. Right? Where it's just between you and your family. And yes. Your if you if it's just between you, your family and your friends, that's fine. But they, yeah. you should not be having should publicly have public accessible no social medias as a minor i also think that they shouldn't have accounts as minors and they shouldn't have accounts as minors because also if they don't get access to that they aren't seeing the comments yes. so you're not having 14 15 16 year olds having their mental health ruined by well she's looking fat she yeah. doesn't put in enough effort <clears throat> she's kind of ugly she should get work done yeah and then you don't have to have their moms coming on and yeah. being like can you please leave my daughter the fudge alone mm -hmm. Yeah. Or my son. Yeah. Uh, either way, it, it doesn't matter. If you are not of legal age, you should not have publicly accessible You should be protected at all accounts. costs. You should be protected. Yeah. And that's coming from someone who, like, we grew up with social media and we both had social media accounts as minors. I should not have been allowed on the internet <laughs> as a little idiot in my teens, okay? Because to be fair, I, you're the like the first generation where we had no idea yeah. what yeah. this was going to be, right? So yeah. you just, as far as I knew, you were playing Hobo Hotel or whatever. You were playing Toontown. Yeah. Also, uh, I was playing, actually, I had I had a crippling online gaming addiction of uh, Neopets, Toontown, <laughs> uh, Club Penguin. Uh, oh, there was a panda one. Wherever it was an online panda world. I remember that and Neopets. I yeah. Neopets was my jam. Moshi monsters. So, Never played that, witnessed. Do you want, okay, she was your sister was four years old and came to me and said, Mommy, because she was watching YTV, Mommy, I want to go on no, it was PBS. I want to go on PBS Kids. How do I, I said, that? Okay. She goes, Yeah, she goes, How do I spell that? So I wrote it down mm -hmm. and she went, went to the computer, went to the, and she spent so much time on PBS Kids. <laughs> Barbie. That is yep. so cute. Barbie was my favorite. <laughs> and family. they yeah. had um the Cadet Kelly yeah. website. Oh my god, that was amazing. Uh, the Amanda show. Yeah. The Amanda oh, yeah. show, yeah. And the one I th I don't know if it was Barbie or what, but it was like the closet one where you got to like pick out their aesthetics and change their hair and makeup and everything. Barbie. It yeah. was oh I loved that. I have never been a cool person. Moving right along, recently the insanely popular girl group New Jeans had their Japanese debut with Supernatural and the B-side track of Right Now. It has been doing well in both Japan and Korea. However, they are receiving some backlash for the song's lack of Japanese lyrics. The song is written in mostly English with a few Korean words and with a few Korean words here and there and even less in Japanese. The song has really popped off and is serving numbers even though fans are disappointed with it and don't feel it should be labeled as Japanese. I, I can understand the frustration with something being marketed or one demographic and it not having anything to do with that demographic. You know what I mean? I didn't realize that was, was, was like, I just thought it was just, this is a song that's getting released in this country. Oh yeah. No, it's a, it's, it's a thing. Like Japanese debut. Yeah. Uh, it's their, they're coming out to uh, Japan. Their, it was their debut in Japan. Yeah. And they didn't, they, they fumbled the bag. Uh, um, it, they didn't because the song popped off. People loved it. Um, like like I said, it's it's doing numbers. They're just kind of annoyed with the fact that it's their Japanese debut and it does not focus on the Japanese language at all. If even Korean fans are angry that a song has not enough Japanese in it, you kind of took a misstep. It was recently announced that Jin of the greatest boy group to ever exist, <laughs> BTS, has been chosen, impressive, to participate in the Paris 2024 Olympics as the South Korean torchbearer in the relay. The entertainment company, 
that shall not be named, said in a press release, Jin will take part in the Olympic torch relay to spread the message of harmony and peace. They will be going across the country through various historic sites, but a set schedule for this event has not been announced yet. Excuse I'm sorry, they're to, they're to promote harmony and peace, huh? That, that's funny. Coming from that company? Yeah, clean your own house. Literally. Also, excuse you, the greatest boy group of all time is either... We're going to fight. A, boys in motion, <laughs> or B, several times. Yeah. We are the boys in motion. Oh, no, wait. Four town. Four Give town, you thank our you. devotion. Four town. I'll take the L. <laughs> I will. I think that Worldwide mm. Handsome should be given more official duties. For Worldwide stuff? Yep. Yeah. Because he's Worldwide Handsome. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> um, He's got duties. I, I think that's... <laughs> Shut up. He's got official duties. <laughs> I don't like you. You're laughing. I know. So anyways... <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. He's fresh out of the military and he's already, you know, as some people have said, completing side quests. Yeah. So there someone else said that they're they're uh they're excited, they're looking forward to see the rest of the group's side quests when they get out of the yeah. military. Yep. Hi Sabo, you're back. <laughs> I just hope none of them are going to Oh, here he is. I hope none of their side quests are going to the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't think any of them are dumb enough for that. Yeah, there's a new group going. Yeah. Oh, That's good. How many? Too. How many? I don't know. Uh, can we get like six or seven in there? Because mm -hmm. there's only like, what, 25 of them or something? Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, Eat the Rich. Last up for news today, we've got TXT again, this time with accusations against Sausangs. Group member Taeyun posted to Weaver saying that his food order on his flight was changed by someone else, and he threw hints that it was done by a Sausang. The post was deleted almost as fast as it was posted, but we all know how fast the chronically online world works. Fans think he deleted the post so quickly because he didn't want to fuel the flames of Sausangs, or simply because there isn't enough proof to back his accusations up, which yeah. there isn't. And uh, if it were to be like investigated by the company or whatever, um, sometimes shit just happens and food orders get switched. However, it is not uncommon for saw sayings yeah. to pull shit like this. If that's so if that's either possibility that, is a legitimate yeah. possibility. Yes. <laughs> it's the fact that before they even got to the plane, their meals were ordered mm -hmm. by someone else. That they 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 don't know who it was. That's really really creepy. That's incredibly that's creepy. Very not good. Yeah, it's not good. That's that's what I'm saying. Like both. Yeah. Both are possibilities that could have happened. It could just be you know something that went the company did. Yeah. That somebody did and you know didn't mention it, or it could have been a saucing. You get jobs at the company. Yeah. That oh yeah. So weird. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like. That's like um, stalker one hundred and one. <laughs> yeah. It's. This is what they are. I, they are stalkers. Yeah. Now that that's over, we're going to jump into the music reviews. We've got one album review for you, and that is Stacy with Metamorphic. One Thing, Nada, and Flexin' on My Ex. Those are my favorite songs off of this album. It, the entire thing was really good, but it is not a no-skip for me, which is rare, but it's still okay. Um, there are more good songs than less preferable ones. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's good it's still an album that i will listen to but it's this is the first i don't want to say the first of like this year because there there have been a couple k-pop albums where there are definitely skips but this one was i didn't expect there to be skips you know what i mean yeah you figure it's stacy it's gonna all be yeah fantastic but which i will say it did keep the the energy of stacy throughout yes 20 the opening song yeah. Also incredible. Yeah. But one thing and Nada were just such vibes. Yeah, mine were, they were incredible. And this was a very like true to Y2K group, like yeah. girl group album. Which is just like what everybody's doing right now. I agree. It was very is very Y2K. And with what everyone is doing right now, this is like the true Y2K vibes. This yeah. isn't lo-fi Y2K. This yeah. is what Y2K was. Yeah. 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 It's like very that was aggressive. Oh. Hyper pop, like bubblegum like this is bordering more on the euro trash y2k that i loved yeah um for me i still i liked one thing nada flexing on my ex uh give it and let me know yeah 
those are all really, really good songs. And I did like most of them. The only one I really had a problem with was Gummy Bear. Yeah, the beat there was, was that, little... There was a, a really high-pitched sound yeah. in there. That was. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of Gummy Bear. It's like, I'm too old to even hear this sound. How am I hearing it? <laughs> no, I, oh, my. Oh, okay. Aggressive. Oh, yeah, he is. Aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> Uh, I just, I think, I thought, I did think it was like a five out of five album, though. I had fun listening to it, and it made me feel my, okay. Do you mind? He doesn't. Ow. It, like, Buddy. it made me feel like the way that I, I always, like, pictured myself when I was a little kid in the mid-2000s, in the early 2000s, of, like, watching Lizzie McGuire and be like, I'm gonna have that room, and I'm gonna do my makeup, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna listen to Britney Spears, and yeah and that made me feel like that that's fair see mine was different i was gonna have that room and i was gonna listen to share <laughs> <laughs> hey same thing same thing you have a lava lamp and one of those i had a lava lamp, swings. I had a lava lamp. <laughs> yeah. it was second hand and it didn't work overall thoughts of metamorphic i'm giving it a three out of five a uh, five out of five 4.7 there was just the one song that i wasn't really a fan of there was technically two that I was not a fan of. Getting into song reviews. Starting us off with song reviews, we've got Rothy, Happy End. This is a beautiful summer song. It is airy and soft. The music video is really lovely. Overall, it's just a vibe. And I love it. Yeah, the, like the word that comes to mind when I think of it is pretty. Yeah. It was just so pretty. It was like beautiful and flowy and, and her flowery voice and airy. so nice. It was beautiful. I yeah. like when it started playing, I was like, and I don't them summer songs, but no, this is this is beautiful. Her voice is honestly like IU level. I it reminded me a lot of an yeah. IU song. Yeah. Yes. Then we have Red Velvet with Cosmic. The first time I heard it was without the music video, and I loved it. The music video made me love it even more. I'm really, really impressed with this release, and I hope that they keep this energy and style going forward. Yes. I. Oh, I'm so scared, man. I. Did not like Chill Kill. I have vitriolic feelings about Feel My Rhythm. <laughs> I her feelings of Feel My Rhythm are so bad that we don't bring that song. We don't up. talk about it. It I it just both of those songs activate the oh, horrible sensory overload in such an aggressive way, and it it makes me want to eat my own ears. <laughs> That's fair. That'd be a feat. I'd like to see that. I was the only thing I was iffy on with this song is I'm not a super huge lover of that chorus beat, yeah. but the entire rest of the song is phenomenal and perfect, and the bass line is so good. Yeah, the bass line is very okay. good for me. This was this was Redemption Arc, uh, Red Velvet, because this is what I've been waiting for. It was, I love the chorus. I think you're wrong. <laughs> I like the chorus too. And and we're not to have for me, the fact that the song is called Cosmic, mm-hmm. like, because it really does feel like they might have been lost in space or something, but now they're back. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So we all agree that we're hoping Red Velvet keeps this up. Yeah. Give to us with, if I'm S, you can be my N. Can you? No. <laughs> uh, music video is boring, but the song is really good. And it, it has some surprise switch ups, which I liked. But I did not, I was not feeling the music video at all. I, it felt very early 17 months era, Monse. and I liked it a lot. Yeah, I did too. You're wrong this time. Hey, the song is good. The music video is I not. I thought the music video was wonderful. I and... thought the music video was exactly like 37,000 other school uniform classroom music videos. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, your highness. Yeah, you should be, <laughs> peasant. Anyway, for me... the vibes of this song are are sunny hot day running through the sprinkler eating popsicles just having fun and and no worries really that's kind of what it felt like for me that's fair then we have end flying with into you very smooth song super cute and sweet um so far today the summer vibes are vibing and these songs are all just so simple and fun this to me is peaceful easy summer day low energy kind of k-pop and it's I don't know. It's like it's doing something to my spirits and kind of making me happy. Uh, this was a very, very, very pretty summary song. And as always, the vocals were on point. Yeah. Because I, and flying, man, they need so much more love. Mm-hmm. They are such good vocalists. Yeah, really, for sure. 
Uh, I agree. It was really for sure. Really for sure. <laughs> for sure they do. Um, no, it was a fun song and it wasn't too complex and it was just nice in its simplicity and it was FT Islandy. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Then we have Chew with Strawberry Rush. I love everything about this it is insanely sweet the music video is incredibly well done her vocals are perfection and again it is a simple song but it hits so hard i love it this was an arcade synthy pop magic song mm. it like chu has yet to disappoint yeah ever with any of her songs she's incredible she's an amazing vocalist her vibes are always immaculate and i need her and yana to do a collab. Chu can do yeah. it. Chu can do it. Uh, this is the most fun you can possibly have watching a music video. Seriously. So many fun things happen and I need to watch it 12 more times. And the song is perfect and Chu is perfect. I love you, Chu. Yeah, we all do. You kiss, stay with me. This was really pretty. It was soft and again, just lovely. Their voices are so smooth. The music was so smooth. Um, all of these songs so far, are songs that I would use to introduce people to K-pop. Like, if you've never heard K-pop before, I would give you these songs to listen to yeah. because they are just easy and they are inviting. They're the type of songs that make you want to hear more. Yeah. 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 And nothing is too weird. Yeah. You know, it's not a, a sticker situation. <laughs> no, or like noise or, you know. Yeah. Feel my rhythm. Feel my... Never mind, shut my mouth. Feel. If you're introducing someone to K-pop, don't play them don't that song. Play feel feel cool. my rhythm, punch my spleen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was a very classic. This is someone who has been a Yukis fan since forever the times. Mm -hmm. This was a very classic Yukis ballad. And I also very much enjoyed seeing a majority original lineup. Yeah. 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 Alexander's back, man. Yeah. That was great. Uh, I just think it's, it was about time. And I just, I wish that they could come back forever. But as Dippy pointed out, they shouldn't get to do that because girl groups don't get to do that. Exactly. So, yeah. It's great to see them once in a while for an anniversary, but if Kahi got a project group for one song, uh-uh. Yeah. That's fair. If what, female idols have to stop because they become moms, guess what? You got to stop because you became a dad. That's fair. Eli. I Eat mean, <laughs> preferably you could just stop that. And just There's let no everybody age limit continue. on it. Yeah. Music doesn't have an age limit. Tina Turner, if Cher, Rain Madonna. gets to dance around half naked and be sexy, Dolly Parton, okay? Hell yeah. Then, I'm sorry, Kahi, the sexiest woman on earth, yeah. should get to dance around and be sexy. Uh, NCT Wish Songbird, Japanese version. This is another really fun music video. Maybe even more fun than the previous ones. The song is louder than the previous ones, and it's great another summer fun song great beat overall sound especially their fancy guitar there is like all throughout it there's that fancy little guitar going yes, it's almost yeah. kind of like salsa -y, yeah. and i love it it's, it's a sample from as i said super junior u wow. it is a direct throwback to super juniors u it's the exact same guitar sound and i love it and it is a very like throwback 2000s like second gen k-pop group song um this was I liked it. I liked the breakdown. Songbird, songbird, you know? I pretty much liked everything that they've done, so... Yeah. Dice. Hey! Exclamation mark. I like you. Hey! <laughs> like you! <laughs> That's how I flirt. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't even. You go like this. I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dice, hey, I like you. It was a nice song, good rhythm, nice vocals, catchy lyrics. Uh, another easy listen. I don't have anything else to say about it because that's just what it was. It was very good. I loved this song a lot. It was incredible. The dance break sections were incredible. The yeah. instrumentals were fantastic. Mm -hmm. the, it was a perfect song. And also their voices. They're really so good. good voices. Like, this is a good group. And they do really good camera work. Yeah, yeah. They do do really good. <laughs> They do, do. <laughs> they do do very good camera work. <laughs> they do do their duties. Then we have I and I with loud. Yep, it was loud. And really nice too. Fast paced, really hard hitting. Gave me 80s vibes and I dig it. I dig it. I'm They're Japanese, it. right? I and I? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was incredible. It was cinematic and beautifully layered. And it was like if NCT and 80s had a music baby. Absolutely. Uh, that's the yep. thing. Like I didn't, when you, after you said your note, it was like, I, what else can I say? Because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. It was great. Hey, woo with Cook. 
exclamation mark. You and your compun- <laughs> punctuation? Compunctuation, guys. This song for me, it was not the main character. It was like an extra in the background, which is nice. I like background music that helps me, that helps make an atmosphere of good vibes and relaxation, you know? But it just, it wasn't, it didn't hold my focus. Yeah. It was just nice in the back. Yeah. Yeah, it was a very chill song, mm-hmm. and I loved the instrumentals, and the synth horn section was fabulous. Yes. Th- yeah, that part was nice. Um, it took me a minute to realize what was happening, though, because like I, I was having a really hard time paying attention to it, but then that did catch me. This is going to sound really weird, but the video and just like the, the way the video fit with the song gave me overcompensate by 21 Pilots vibes. That's fair. You know, he's riding his bike with the buns and just, it gave me that. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. That's not overcompensate. That? That's backslide. That's the one. Yeah. Backslide then, that's the, yeah. So. Yeah. But either, either way, I mean, the 21 Pilots vibe, it was, fits. Yeah, it was cool. Then we have Gubin with Satellite. This is a beautifully expressive song. It hits the emotions. It's soft and elegant. I think everybody should listen to this song and just... Let yourself love it and let it love you. Let it, okay? let it heal your inner. Let it heal you. Yeah. Uh, the music video is super nice as well. It's just overall everything is beautiful. And I don't know how many more times that I can call something beautiful, soft, and elegant, but this is what that was. Yeah, this was a very it was it was beautiful. It was sweet and airy and, and soft and I also like I love all of Gubin's stuff. Mm-hmm. She debuted. She's yeah. really young and she is so talented. Yeah, her vocals are incredible. Yes. This song was just so That's what, pretty. What got me the most of the whole thing was just her voice. Yeah, she's a beautiful, beautiful voice. Incredible mm-hmm. voice. Yeah, good song. Go listen to it. Then we have Craxy with "Stupids." I love the cars. Loving the rivalry. Rivalry. It's really hard for me to say. Rivalry <laughs> thing happening and like the summer. The not the summer. Sorry, like the dance off scenario thing. Yeah. Love that. The song is really good. It sounds familiar, and I cannot quite put a finger on it. I will figure it out. She will figure it out. Um, because that is my favorite thing She's to do. <laughs> uh, but it's a really good song. I love Craxy. Yeah. I love every single song that they've ever put out. And this was incredible. And I like everything down to the rapping. Because sometimes you listen to a K-pop mm-hmm. song and it's like, this is great. The rap section hits and you're like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was this- very good. The rapping. There are a lot of K-pop songs where the rapping doesn't fit. It's kind of weird, yeah. Yeah, where it just it's there's something off with it. But this one, I agree with you. It is perfect. Yeah, it all flowed so perfectly together. It reminded me a lot of uh oh by G Idol, Mm -hmm. of just like a really good like hip hop song. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. The breakdown was fantastic, Mm -hmm. and the 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 only like descriptors I can say for the song is really cool. Like Mm -hmm. just that's it. Yeah, it is very cool. Then we have Kim J. Jung with Glorious Day. This song has the same kind of vibe as Epic's mm-hmm. Youth to Youth. Yeah. A big, powerful song that makes you feel stuff. And some of that stuff is really good. And some of that stuff is really sad. The group yelling, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's your vibe. But it's, this song is so lovely. Much like the name would suggest, this song is glorious. It is. Yes. yes. No, but for you, I want to say I, the fact that you love this song makes me so happy because Jae Jung is my original bias. I love this man. <laughs> it's the OG. Oh my god, yes. All of my second generation biases have are committed crimes disappointments. Or bad people. <laughs> yeah, this is the he's still he's still good. We're still good. We're holding out here with Jae Jung. He is he can do no wrong in my mind. He has the best voice. He's the best everything. He's the best boy. And best boy he's 40 <laughs> he's the best boy he's 41 he's 41 <laughs> he's significantly older than me yeah and um, you this song reminds me of zootopia in a really good like you know at the end when everybody's all yeah you know together and we're, we're gonna do the thing song. you know positive and together and happy it's like a like a like an epic anthem kind of thing exactly like youth to youth yes okay that kind of thing and as far as i'm concerned kim J. Jung has the best voice of all the voices. He's one of the best That's vocalists it. of all time. He is. He's yeah. one of the best in the game. Yeah. Original bias right there. Okay. I hate you. I know you do. Young Posse, On My Scars, featuring Lil Cherry and DBO. It is not my favorite. The autotune is a little too strong for me at some points. At Honestly, several points. There's also a sound in the background that is like a static horn whistle, and it's, it's too much for me. It's not my vibe. I love Young Posse. Do not get me wrong. 
they are great. But this song is my first like 100% pass. I it, it is an automatic skip for me and I hate that. That makes me sad, but it's okay. I the beat I love the beat. The yeah. beat goes hard. <laughs> I will say I like DBO's part at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Did not like Lil Cherry's section. Mm-hmm. Uh but it was kind of like hit or miss throughout the rest of the song. The original much better than the remix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was okay. It reminded me of a BTS song that I can't put my finger on. This oh, isn't the one no. that was Black Swan. Yeah, yes, it was. Yeah, it was. It was, okay, yeah. This it sound yeah. Okay, so It does sound like Black Swan. It, it, there's a lot of some similarities to Black Swan. In the melody. But yeah. Black Swan is better. Um it is. I this is I think this is the second song I've heard with Lil Cherry and I haven't liked her parts in either in either song. No. Or their parts. I don't, I don't know, know who, who they are. She's a female rapper. She's yeah. oh. She was in Eve's song, Loop. Mm. Yeah, and I didn't like that either. I yeah. liked the song. I did not care for the rap. Yeah, I'm not a fan of her her tone. No. Okay. Then we have Kiwa Tongue Tied. Funky baseline, saucy song. I love it. The vibes are as I would say, um, immaculate, and it's catchy as all hell. This so many of these songs had such good saucy, funky bass lines. Yep. And if this is the new dominant trend in K-pop, I am here for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this song was amazing, and I love it. I love all of Key's solo stuff. Mm-hmm. He's just got a certain vibe with his solo stuff that's just so good. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's it's kind of Taman esque. But I guess Taman is his ask because he yeah. was here first. Because he was first. And yeah, like, and Taman learned it from him. Yeah, <laughs> like it's a little bit different. Like it's 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 Taman kind of stuff, but a different a different font, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just a key is just he's always so good. That one song, Dice. Dice, good song. I like gasoline. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, gasolina. I, That's my favorite gasolina. gasolina. <laughs> Don't all my knees off. Then we have BDU. Also, yes, your note, very good. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> good job. Good job. Guys. Right. Yeah. BDU. <laughs> she just ends the show with stars all over her face. <laughs> then we have BDU, my one. Another simple, easy listening tune. I like it. There's nothing more that needs to be said about it. It's just easy. It was a very, very pretty song. It, there was... There's nothing mind blowing about it for a debut, but it was just pretty and it was good yeah. to listen to. Yeah, I liked it a lot, and it reminded me of a lot of the um, that positive vibe that a lot of Seventeen songs have. That yeah. really, you know, yeah, yeah, I loved it. Be like, adore you. Yeah, I yeah. do nice yeah. era. Yeah, Lisa, rock star. I am surprised by the fact that I actually like this song. Uh, as you guys both know, I don't yeah. like Blackpink, and I. Haven't really liked any of their solo stuff. Yeah, This, it's really good. It sounds like she is starting to go in a different direction that is more herself and her voice, and it sounds different, like yeah. more authentic. It sounds like how yeah. she's supposed to sound. Um, and honestly, if you didn't know it, it would be surprising to find out that she is Blackpink. If you, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you watched a video like that, this video, Rockstar, up against um, As Boom by Guy or something, yes, you would be like, what? Or fucking Pink Venom. Yeah, I'm sorry, that is, is that? one of the worst songs ever made. Yeah. I literally, the song has, the more I've listened to it, the more and more it's grown on me. I like the first time I heard it, I was like, I'm not vibing mm-hmm. with this. But it has been growing on me more and yeah. more. And I like the fact that she gets to unapologetically show off and flaunt her culture and yeah. her identity yes. as a Thai woman. Yes. And like be herself. Yeah. Like, she gets to be La Lisa. Yes, and it, she's... This is the thing that's, like, you don't realize how talented she is because she's had to do things that are beneath her Yeah. all this time. And now she's got this, like, this new direction, and it's so good. This is my favorite Lisa song. Like, I, I haven't really Same. liked her solo yeah. stuff. And, uh, like, it's she's not La Lisa from Blackpink anymore. Mm-hmm. She's just Lisa. Yeah, and it's just it's beautiful. This is what I have been saying this entire time is if you let those women out of Blackpink and out of the essence that is the Black YG Pink, boxes. Yes, yeah. they are talented yeah. and they can totally handle doing their own thing. But mm-hmm. in that box, it's not 
it's the waste of what they're they can do and yeah, i don't absolutely. mean to say that because i know that they're proud of everything that they've done and i'm not trying to tear that down and like no. their fans and everyone that loves them that's great that yeah. is that is for you no one's taking that away i'm just in my opinion they are better being their authentic selves outside of black yes black. and there's actually a lot of people who are quite upset with this song um Why? yes and they've been comparing it with with the new jeans Japanese debut, um, saying there's as much Japanese in this song as there is in Lisa's Rockstar. Um, yeah, there's just there's some people are not not fans of it. Uh, Blinks also got angry because she thanked Lily's, yeah. which are her fans, her fans. Yeah. instead of thanking Lily's and Blinks, and to like, that's gonna happen to Blackpink. Bye bye. Uh, what happened to Twenty <laughs> One? Bye bye. My thing is, is like they really do flourish outside of the YG. I'm the best, the coolest. Then we have Rocky with Jealousy. I really like this. It's another funky ass beat. It's an interesting song. Lyrics, vocals, beat, all of it. It is top notch and I love it. Yes. Cynthia and bassy and funky and so good. And I love it. Um, no, this is what happens when someone gets possessed by the ghost of Michael Jackson. This is a perfect MJ song. Like if I was just listening to the instrumental, I would have thought that's who it was. Yeah. It, this was really good. Yeah, I agree. Then we have Cat's Eye debut. I like this. Uh-huh. I like it. <laughs> they all sound so good together. The flow is lovely. The song is fun. It keeps you interested the whole way through. The video is actually really, really, really well done. Um, it's very on trend. And I will definitely love them twice. That's two lyric references. Thank you. You're a nerd and a loser. This was incredible and amazing. And it was just a good, fun, stupid song. I loved it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was very good. And I was in shock because I wasn't watching it the whole time. And I thought it was Baby Monster. Like, I thought that they got good all of a sudden. It was because you said someone said the next song is Baby Monster, right? Yeah, so I I'm said, like, we're going to be listening to a yeah, Baby Monster I, you song know, I thought this is the song. I'm like. That's Baby Monster? Wow, that's really good. <laughs> the one thing I hated about this song, stop covering Menon. Mm. She, why, why, she was far, the, someone counted, and there's eight sequence changes, and each time a new member is in front of her. She's mm. constantly at the back of every formation. It's like, oh. there's more formations than a V yeah. Yeah, with six-member girls. There's groups. like a W and a p an m every other group manages to do it yeah mm -hmm. everglow june with stay this is freaking beautiful the switch from super high light and airy to that like deep steady voice is so perfect i can't remember i can't remember what the lyric is but it happens several times throughout the song where she's like just beautifully like high and airy and soft and then it's like a deep steady voice and i don't know yeah. it's just it's so pretty yeah. i love it it's one of my favorites of the day if not my favorite of the day it was ethereal it was yes. just this like it w was light as in like fairyish uh, no not as in like oh no as in like a beam of light oh it yeah. was bright yes it was beautiful wow. and just gorgeous yeah it was, it was so wonderful it was be beautiful so that's like the only descriptor. one of the only descriptors lovely Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it really is. Much like the next one, which is Jimin yeah. with Smeraldo Garden Marching Band featuring Loco. Apparently, Every time, one second. Sorry. Every time I've read that word, Smeraldo, yeah. um, I read Smato. I read Smato. Smato Garden Marching Band. So That's what my brain does. Apparently, the, the, the his little nod to Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. Yeah. Sergeant Cooper's Lonely Arts Club. <laughs> yeah, that <Yes>. one. <laughs> uh, we stay loving Jimin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and again, okay then, Cupid. Another video where they're like kind of playing Cupid. Mm -hmm. It's a fun song. The music video is fantastic. It is so catchy and just, it's a great vibe. Yeah. It is a great vibe. It's one of my favorite music videos that has come out recently. Mm -hmm. Video is very fun. And this is definitely top five of my favorite solo songs mm -hmm. from, from the. All of them. From the butts? Yeah. yeah, from from the BTSs. From the butts. The butts. This is my second favorite song. Second only to Friends by V. So yeah, this is, it's just, I mean, he's got such a, 
such a spirit mm -hmm. you know and it comes through and everything he does and it's yeah. just incredible then we've got baby monster forever I um i do not like baby monster at all as you both know yep. i have disliked every single thing i've heard and seen from them thus far this song okay if they keep this shit up i will be a fan yeah i will i will walk back what i said and i will i will convert i will eat my hats and convert to baby monsterisms <laughs> okay yeah. um it is genuinely a good song it sounds like all of the best k-pop songs rolled into one and i really like it i'm really impressed by yeah. it i didn't i know that they were talented but i didn't think they had this in them I was absolutely blown away because I, I saw it had been released and I was like, okay, going to be another YG song. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it was a, a 80s gay club, synthy yes. disco extravaganza. Yes. Yeah. It was very after like by yeah. Ive mm -hmm. and it was incredible. The rap jarred me right at this, the beginning of it, but it flowed perfectly fine into the rest of the song yeah. and it worked Yeah, and it was so good. It kept the essence of baby monster, mm -hmm. but a little bit more refined and yes. elegant. I've, I like, find it took out the black pink yeah, of baby monster. It yeah. got up to like middle school monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it got rid of that YG black pink. Yes. Box. yes yes okay this so this is what happened the other song where i thought that was baby monster and i'm like shit okay mm -hmm. no then the actual baby monster song comes on and i'm like oh this big man what the hell literally what the hell was that when you said that we were listening to baby monster i was like no yeah why i, I, mean, I don't we like, don't like yeah. listening to stuff we don't like i'm tired of baby monster don't make me do this, this and is... then it started playing and i was like Fuck. then the chorus hits and yes. you're like what yeah, yeah. those women girls whatever they're, they're girls children. there's children they're children can fucking sing yeah. like holy shit in my defense i've been rap. saying that yes they're very talented yes just that was some the, flow that was some serious flow yeah it was an interesting flow too it, there it was and, dynamic and the, the the video and it was just beautiful it was like a it was a, a like a feast for the eyes yes. and, and the senses they were and I don't want to get ahead of ourselves or anything like okay, that, but yeah. it's almost like they have individual personalities <gasps> and characteristics and abilities. No. And they were allowed to showcase that in this song, which like are wild. They, are they allowed to have that? I don't think so. Okay. I didn't think so, but apparently they are. Okay. <laughs> it was just really very good. So good. Honestly, one of my favorite songs. Of, yeah, of it was really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, same. Kiss of Life, Sticky. For I'm the so first sticky, time. Sticky, sticky, sticky. <laughs> The first, for the first time in history, <laughs> it's gonna it's start raining, raining, man. The first time I listened to it, I wasn't impressed. Like, it was it was fine. I just wasn't feeling it. The second go around, whole new outlook, okay? Whole fucking new world. Part of my damn language. You a sweary girl. I know. It's really fun. Um, Another overall, just like really good song. Mm -hmm. And one that I'm... I don't like I don't love it when a song has to grow on me, but I do appreciate it when a song does grow on yeah. me. Like if you write a song that it has the ability to genuinely grow on people, yep. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. This, I love this song. It's just like the perfect summer island beats. Yes. That like water was and stuff. Yeah. But but this was more refined. Yeah. I meant yes. smart. More smarter. Smart. Yeah. By La Seraphim. Well, I mean, yes. same song, <laughs> but more refined and more unique. Yes, and individual. <laughs> and also, I am K. There's been a lot of twerking throughout yes. K-pop. Yes, Julie is the only K-pop idol who's allowed to twerk anymore. Mm -hmm. She's the only one who can properly throw it back. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, this was a very fun, colorful, peppy song, and also a grown-up song. Yes, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yes, yeah. there are grown women. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, then we're uh, back to Stacy with Cheeky Icy. First off, I'm cheeky, just... Cheeky Icy thing. Cheesy, cheeky, yeah, cheeky Icy thing. Cheesy Icy thing. I hate the title. Chidi Anagonia. Yeah. I have a thing where, um, especially with like names and stuff, if it ends in the same letter and the same sound, it needs to rhyme. Otherwise, it just sounds dumb. Cheeky Icy does not sound good together. It should be Cheeky Icky. <laughs> Yeah, or like dicey icy, cheeky cheeky. You know, there's other ways to do it. Cheeky ice, cheeky icy thing. Yeah, cheeky icy thing. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank cheeky, you. Cheeky icky thingy. 
you, you know what I'm saying, right? Yes, like it just yes. it does something to my brain where it makes me actually yeah, angry. You, you know why? You know why? Autism. 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 <laughs> uh, anyways, the beat is 100% giving if you seek Amy and Womanizer by Britney Spears. I played both songs at the same yes. time as listening to this song, and they are yeah. pretty much the same. It's not like the entire song. No. It's the base yeah. of the song yeah. is the same as If You Seek Amy and Womanizer. And not not the entirety of If You Seek Amy. There's bits and pieces yeah. of it pulled, but Womanizer, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, still the, it's, still a, <laughs> it's still a good song. Threw me off a little bit at first. Um, I really do not care for the lyrics. I just, I don't, like I said, I don't like how cheeky Icy sounds. And uh, that's that's just my thoughts. That's just my thoughts. This is the, f I've been getting more bold in stating my, you have my feelings and opinions, opinions and yeah. I'm terrified of it, <laughs> but this is, it's how I felt. Stacy hyper beats never fail me. Mm -hmm. I love the song. Stacy remains at the top of my favorite girl groups list. Mm -hmm. And I love the instrumental for this. Mm -hmm. It was so weird and incredible. Mm -hmm. The yeah. instrumental yeah. is very good. Yeah. Like, I don't have any complaints about the instrumental. I just don't like the lyrics. Mm, I like them. So this song had nothing to do with any of this this stuff. But this is what it made me feel like, okay? It was a yeehaw, giddy up, hoedown, good time. That's okay. how I felt. Yep, sure. That was I think feelings. it's because, I think it's because I have DCC stuck in my head right now. Probably. So everything, everything pretty girls and dancy bouncy is, is we just watched Dallas Cowboy the, the docu series for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Yeah. I also hate how that sounds. It sounds so <laughs> stupid. It sounds it sounds terrible. Yeah. Um so um so everything is just like being related to that now. Yeah. Then we have B first and ATs with Hush oh, Hush. Oh. Okay. This is a yes from me. Congratulations, you're going to Hollywood. World Domination, Universal Kings. I love this song. It is, you shut your damn mouth in there. <laughs> this is another song that could do well with a metal twist. Like, oh, yeah. get them a metal drummer. Blast Boots, The House Down Sons. I'm sorry that I'm so annoying, but this song would sound so good with a metal twist. Where's Nick when you need him? Nick Belolio. Lars. Fuck Lars. No. Just kidding, yes. No, no. Yeah. Um, this song, this was a movie, it was an event, it was a moment in history, and it might be one of the best collabs of all time. F Hero, Electric Callboy levels of perfection collab. Mm -hmm. Right, so, so here's what happened. Baby Metal, Body Slam, and F Hero, they opened riffs in the space-time continuum, okay? But then, Baby Metal and Electric Callboy started world building yes through those riffs and now we have 80s and b first and they are kingdom building on those worlds in those riffs yep so yeah absolutely i can't get over how much i love this song i know i i it's all i think you about you can't like i don't even know how to describe it it you can't it's it's hard to describe. You have it's to. Epic. It's one of those things where you have to experience it for yourself. Yes. And I'm going to say this: very good sound system or headphones, yeah. but make yes. sure you watch the video on your first listen because yeah. you need it for the full experience. It was it literally the music video was a movie, and there could, yeah. it was not. A, there's not a group like besides Stray Kids that could have a more perfect collab with yes. ATs. B first was the perfect matchup. Yeah. Yeah. All hours shock. This is freaking great. Another one that needs that metal touch. Someone who is capable, someone who is capable, please throw some real beat down bird the world kind of drums on this. Okay. Please and thank you. I, I sent it to that so drummer impressed. on TikTok that can drum the shit out of anything. Oh, yeah. 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 There's actually a few of them that yeah. I've seen that could probably I'm do good. Of the white dude that looks like yes. Alan Tudyk. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, this was noise music at its finest. It was fantastic, and I need a high-speed sci-fi car chase with this as the soundtrack. Yeah. Yes, please. This, I agree. This is where K-pop goes to rock. Yeah. Like, seriously. It's fucking amazing, and the video was like a one-two punch of rock and roll. It was just, it was so, so, so good. Yeah. Cleveland rocks, so does this. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, this, it's so good. Junie <laughs> of Icon, feel lost. I know... 
that you have an eternal, everlasting, generational beef with Icon. But I have liked almost everything that they've done together and solo. It's an interesting song. It has twists, turns, drop offs, all of it. You didn't like songs. I said almost. <laughs> I said almost, okay? That's my disclaimer is almost. I happen to love Junie. Mm-hmm. He is him and B.I. were the only members that I loved. <laughs> They're the only members that existed. I love B.I. Uh, we know this. Yeah. This, uh, but this is an awesome song. And the instrumentals are great. And again, saucy bass lines. Yes. This, so much bass. Yeah, the song is funktastic. Like, seriously. And I am so impressed. He's been my favorite member of Icon since the beginning. So I'm not, I'm not really surprised. But yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. just... The also, I would just like his to preface, voice. Like, I hate YG box icon. Yeah, I hate rhythm ta and ling ling no. icon. Yeah. I liked uh, killing me. Yeah, I love scenario was too overplayed. Love uh, uh, scenario. I love love scenario. So do I. But so do I. <laughs> once they started, YG stopped caring about them. Yeah, and they were able to do their own thing. Their yep. music got a lot more palatable. Uh, yes, yep. I'm talking about YG box. Were the killest guys on the street when Vi was still there, and they were still because that's I think when they stopped caring about them was when they kicked Vi out. Yeah, and then it was like, well, we don't need them anymore. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ridiculous that's it's just further proves that yg sucks yg is terrible that yg is terrible the and artists. when they they let the artists be artists yeah they flourish yg because you suck guy on t just left black label really yeah he's no longer working for them uh wow. i like tabloid leave literally <laughs> like this is the thing if yg if the company stands stopped standing the company yeah yg would go bankrupt so yep. quick oh yeah absolutely you know who won't go bankrupt <laughs> I'm gonna go bankrupt. That's unfortunate. You sure do. <laughs> Keep a handle on these things all day. I'm doing really good. Had a few slip ups, and then I just so much confidence. Uh, you know who won't go bankrupt? <laughs> it's when you start to get confident that you fuck up. <laughs> Lee Chae Young with Don't. This video, it's immaculate. The song's immaculate. There are no notes. You cannot make this any better than it is because it is perfection. There is nothing better. <laughs> She's just incredibly talented. The song, it has it all. Great vocals, great lyrics, great beat. Go listen to it immediately. We're not accepting comments right now. We're not. She is a queen. She has never flopped. She never will. Her music is always amazing. And she always serves choreography. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Incredible music, but also she is a dancer. Yes. Like, oh my God. This is a really good song. It's a mature song. It doesn't feel like young Poppy. Yeah. You know? Not like when Poppy was young, but you know what I'm saying? It feels like a mature woman song and it's just, it's arts. Vivi up, ain't nobody. I feel like this is how New Jeans should be sounding by yes, now. Yes. The growth in this group is really good and everything they've done has it's just been really good. Yeah. Um and their their take on this current music trend, you know, like the Y2K yeah. lo fi shit mm -hmm. has been really good. Yeah. And this is really I don't know I hate saying really good, but it's just really good. What the thing is yeah. is that they so have it's solid. It's that same yeah, you know, uh, ETA. Of, of, yeah, yes. okay. And it's it's really good. Yeah. Like this. Let's see what else. It's very not bad. It's, this <laughs> it's is very a, the opposite of bad. This was a very fun, bright, colorful summer song. Yes. And I liked it. And again, it's like okay, New Jean started with really good vocals, like strong yeah. vocals. Gods had really good vocals, but they have gotten so weak yeah because they're not allowed to be good anymore yes. yeah they're just they do that airy little yeah <laughs> this is what i want yeah from a group with that much standing yeah that much clout behind them yeah is something like this and the yes. fact that a, a nugu group is giving us that yeah that's yes. why you got to pay attention to the little companies you really little really really do yes these ladies are so talented and so full of energy and they're so fun to watch mm -hmm. Like, the thing is, too, is, like, New Jeans at the beginning was fun to watch. Yeah. They're not having fun anymore. No. It's, and it, it's, they're doing the same thing every yeah, comeback. Yeah. Every comeback. And you can, t you can tell in their demeanor what's going on. It's not, that's just part mm -hmm. of life. And these girls, 
not having that kind of problems. No, they're no. just they're, they're fun. Having fun being artists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh Espa with Hot Mess. This is another group that has fun being artists and you yeah. can tell that with everything that they do. Um this is not my favorite. It's not my favorite from today. It wouldn't even put it in the top 10. It is still a good song. Just not for me. It's fun. The video is super good, but the song just, it doesn't hit for me the way that all of their other music does. And that made me kind of sad because Espa has never disappointed me. I i don't think I have ever disliked something that Espa has done. And, and I don't want to say that I dislike this. I just, it's not. Yeah. She yeah. don't love it. Yeah. Hey, after the, the, uh, straight knockouts that were supernova and armageddon yeah i get it like this is a this is more of like a savage but i like it i like it like that yeah i agree yeah that and thank you for helping me to describe how i'm feeling when those two are in the lineup this song does not come close to how good they are i will say though that beat i think so weird and only espa could pull it off but I still really like the song. I love this song. It, li- it was song. different from those two things. Yeah. yeah. And well, yeah, like I don't want it. I don't want it to be the same as that. I want it to be on the same level. I thought of it was greatness. I thought this was Espa, and that's all there is to say. Like, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I lo- I loved the song. Yeah. I'm not saying it was a bad song, but like I can see where coming out of Supernova yeah. and Armageddon, s- some people could be like, "Well, this fell a little." Do you want to know what the secret mm-hmm. to this is? Lowered expectations. Then we got TXT, Will Never Change. It's a pretty song. It makes me feel that, like, happy, sad feeling, you know? Um, and that's not very nice. But I really, really enjoyed this. It's so I think good. it is very nice. TXT makes the only sad crybaby ballads yeah. that I enjoy. Yeah. Like, genuinely will listen to them yeah. out of my own free will. Mm-hmm. And not because it's being pushed upon me. Yes. Yeah. And you are notorious for hating ballads. Yeah. And the fact that you love TXT ballads makes me happy. It's Mm -hmm. because they make beautiful ballads. Like, it's not just like, hey, this is a sad song. Get your cry pants on. No, it's like, these are... Get your cry pants on. These are lyrical and storytelling and beautiful. Yes, this is a lovely song. And Link for cry pants will be in the description box below. (laughs) Use code CRYPANTSDIPPY to get 10% off. There's not a TXT song I don't like. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the truth. Yep. I don't know if there's a TXT song. Is there a TXT song that I don't like? No, there's not. There's You're not. pretty good at remembering when I say uh, I don't like something. Yeah, no, there's not. I've, I've never heard you say I don't like this song. Yeah, I don't think I've ever yeah. li- disliked one either. They're one of the most solid groups of they all time. They are consistent yeah. as hell. They're, they are very consistent. Yeah. I feel like this is a good place to end things. That's all of the music we had today, all of the news we wanted to go through. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you like this, subscribe. Do not forget to like this video. And we are available on all of their social medias at I have something to say. Screams Come True. Find us. With that, thanks for being here. Take care. <laughs>